bad boys before, but then. Yeah, we just left McDonald's. I got a filet of fish. It's Friday. You gotta order filet of fish on Friday. I know you're probably like, yuck, filet of fish. That's for old people. Well, don't like it till you tried it. Filet of fish with the tartar on it. Please, I got a Coke. No fries today. I will discuss when we get to the park why I'm trying to eliminate one bad thing from each meal. Um, Brazil's back there already chowing down on her cheeseburger. What'd you get? Cheeseburger Happy Meal, no onions, no pickles. Cheeseburger Happy Meal, no onions, no pickles, y'all. Um, apple slices and a milk. How many of y'all know y'all Happy Meal uh, diagnostics? We're here at the park, guys. We're here at the park, guys. All right. I'm done eating my sandwich. Are you done? Mm hmm Do you have, well, give me your um your apple slices so I can put them in my bag. In case you want a snack. In case I want a snack. Let's get her scooter. Why you gotta run? No, I mean, like, a ride. Hold up, put my hand up here. So, we're just making sure my hair is perfectly down so it can fit my helmet because last time um, when we were trying to use my helmet it was I we thought it was too big but it wasn't why can't you pull it <laughs> why Sorry. It's okay. Right. Hold on. I'm going to walk through that so I can... Why, are you scared? It. Hurry up, girl. Alright, y'all. So, we parking it. This is really the park that I come to. Um, a lot of times during the week, I just park. I usually bring my book. I didn't bring my book today because I knew that, you know, I'm uh, coming to film. I actually like to read. Um, let's take the long way, Brazil. Long way? Yeah. So it's like a little walk. Yeah. You can ride the scooter before you go play. Oh, did I leave my phone in the car? No, I got it. Never mind. I knew you had it. Slow down for a second. Here is somebody dog. Sir, if you don't quit smiling at me and get your dog. Yeah, you can go, Scoot. You can go. I'll just follow you walking. So, yeah. That's what I was saying. Dang. Hey. I had to uh, kind of guard her because it was a dog. It's a dog, sir. You got no leash on. Is that, is that even legal? Wherever you want to go. So yeah, I usually come here to read. Um, I'm like a self-help person. I love self-help books. Um, I love. Right now, what I'm really into is, like, the celebrity uh, biographies. A lot of celebrities have been starting to write books. And so, I've been liking... I bought a few. I haven't gotten to read. But I think I was going to, like, you know... I haven't been reading because I just haven't been in the mental space to not be distracted. When I'm at home, honestly, my phone is in my hand. And I can't concentrate. My TV's on. I can't concentrate. Brazil is on. I can't concentrate. So it's like here, I don't have those distractions. I make sure I don't have those distractions. And so, um, hey, she didn't want to ride her scooter along. She over here, ready to climb the jungle gym. It's therapeutic, really, y'all. To actually just sit down outside and read. Um. I think being out in the sun alone, being outside and feeling the air, you know, that helps your mental health. I don't know if y'all knew that or it is an actual thing. 
you know, if you're dealing with a lot right now, you're overwhelmed, you have anxiety, depression, things like that, get outside. Literally, get outside. I don't care if you get outside and you sit in the front yard with the clothes you've worn on the past three days straight. Get outside. Get in that chair. Sit out in the sun. Take a deep breath. Breathe in some air. It does change things for you. It alters your mood. You know, that sunlight does wonders. Get outside. I come out here to really read books and stuff like that. It gives me a chance to really slow down too. You know, when you got a lot on your plate, which I feel like I always do for some reason, um, it gives you time to really just push pause, I would say. And I don't know why I didn't do this before. Self stop you from doing a whole lot of stuff. Self, self will put you in a position is that will sabotage your own healing mentally physically and leading to that which is why i want to talk to you guys um i had mentioned in the other video about me trying to um better my health i'm trying to really better my health i think this time has really given me a chance to realize that i have not been taking care of myself not the way i need to and I'm really interested in like a real all natural healing. I feel like my body responds to natural everything. And when I say natural, I mean like I'm trying to dive into like sea moss. I want herbal teas. I want um, natural stuff, you know? Stuff that is made from the earth. I want to really just tap into that. Because I am one that I do not do what I need to do when it comes to health and wellness. And I do think that it would benefit me a lot. I'm sorry, y'all. I feel like my eyes are starting to water and my lash is starting to come off. I see something. I feel like it's my lash. It is. Man, look at this, y'all. I'm going to have to take it off. You see what happens, you know, when you're trying to be great and the devil just stay busy taking off your eyelashes and stuff? The devil is alive. It's like, dang, I want to say this lash. Let me put it in my purse. I'm over here trying to have a therapeutic talk with y'all. And here my lash go. When the steel kill and destroy. I rebuke you. What's she doing? You scared to go higher? Yeah. Yeah. Swing them legs and get higher. Let me go push her, y'all. Please, no. No? No. Aw. She a little scaredy cat. That's really honestly my goal is health. And that includes, and that's why, I don't know if y'all watched the other video, the eyeshadow video. I talked about my hair. I did a chop on my hair. You know, my hair is damaged. Probably the same way my insides are. And I was like, you know, my aunt, she did my hair for me. She a goat when it comes to natural hair care. And after we, you know, washed and blow dried it, she was like, you know, the front is more damaged than the back. It's not going to look right. ain't going to have a shape. So I'm like, you know what? Let's just chop. If we're going to start over fresh, you know, a fresh start for a healthy journey, it's going to include the hair, and we're just going to start fresh. And that's what we did. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm bobbing it. But hair will grow. Hair will grow. And the main thing she said is that hair growth not only comes from, get, you know, keeping it cut and trimmed, but from your nutrition, your diet. And I know for a fact that I have not been feeding my body good things. I have not been, you know, making sure the right vitamins are being ingested. I'm looking forward to getting into all that. It's a process. It's a process. And it's crazy because, you know, self-love and self-care has so many different facets to it. It's not just getting enough sleep and, you know buying some new shower gel you know it's it's not just that i need to focus on my water intake like that's another thing that i need to focus on making sure i'm staying hydrated with the right kind of water like i want to get into all that so and i'm gonna keep y'all updated i'm gonna keep y'all updated on how i do you know how it's going you know we're gonna keep taking these little trips outside to get some sun you know us colored folks we like to run from the sun you know we do. I'm sorry. It's not our friend, but really it is. It's our best friend. It needs to be. You know, we don't get enough sun, enough of that vitamin D, that natural vitamin D. We don't feel good. We don't feel good. It affects our body. It affects our body. And you got to think like our ancestors were out in the sun. You know, 
doing what they were forced to be doing. But they live long. If you really think about it, they live long. There's something in that sun that God put here for us. You know, we got to sit in it. We got to soak it up. We got to enjoy it. Learn to dwell in it, you know. It ain't going to hurt us. Put a little sunscreen on. You'll be fine. Should we be ready to run? Sweat all our edges? Absolutely not. You sure you don't want me to, to give you a push? What do you want to push? That's it. One push? Yeah. One push. I'm getting sand all in my shoes. Scoot your butt back on, on the seat. Like this? Wiggle your butt. Hold on to, to the chains and wiggle your butt back. No, scoot your butt back. Wiggle your butt. This is your butt. Yeah. They scoot it back some more. Yeah, who taught this girl how to swing? Nobody? Is that my job too? Look at her scary behind. You need to go on high. Quit dragging your feet. Lift your feet up. Lift them straight. Straighten them out. Straight. Stick them out in front of you. Oh, she a Looney Tune. It's starting to cool off. I don't know what Brazil doing, y'all. This little baby swinging she doing. It's getting on my nerves. This girl like to ride all kind of roller coasters, but scared to swing. What sense does that make? Mommy, you want me to go on the scary slime? Slide or that slide? Why don't you start with a small slide? And then go to bed. Yes. Well, well definitely not hit first. Just go whatever one. Feet first. On your butt, thank you. Jeez! Uh-huh. Jeez. I gotta go one more time on this. On the small one? Yeah. I knew you were scary. I already knew it. Ha. Beat that. How you feel about being at the park? Ooh, what was that? <laughs> See? Look at that. Look at that. That is so fast. Look at that. You I just you I ate the I dust. My knee. You ate the dust on that one. You ain't you ain't gonna do do that one again? Fine. But then, then, then I'm gonna scrape my knee again. Can you climb up right there? Or on, on this one. You're supposed to climb up these things. Right here. This is easier. Let's see. <clears throat> Gotta get your climbing skills. Watch your head. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. I just got it cut yesterday. It, it was a mess. It was a mess. Thank you. All right. Oh, more control. More control. When we get there, I just have to put my feet down. This? You, yes. No. My you ain't even try. Well, I tried the other one. It's the same thing as this. Look at that. You're already climbing. What are you talking about? Push those legs up. There you go. The other leg. Step. There you go. You climb to the top. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you. You did it. You can see over the top. Are you kidding me? There you go. Find your way down. There you go. There you go. That's how you do it. Talk about you can't do it because your hands hurt. Man. The one that you really want me to do? Over there. Let's climb the other one. I 
There you go. Use you <laughs> use your legs. You got it not on the sliding part. Look, you put you put it on the sliding part right there. You either got to start low or start high. Okay, you starting high. Okay. Hold on to the, the one above you. There you go. Step up. There you go. There you go. Use 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 your legs. I can't. Step up. <laughs> you ain't got no arm strength. There you go. That's right. There you go. You're almost there. Careful, you're you're sliding. You're sliding. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's stop. Put put your foot back down. Now let's see what, what we can do here. Bring your arm down to the lower pole. Okay? Let's see. Can you go over to this side? Hold on to this green leaf. Slide your feet over slowly, slowly. Okay? Put your foot on top of the leaf here. Here? Yep, slide. No, not that leaf. This one, right here. There you go. Why you got such wide grips? <laughs> put your put your foot in the leaf hole. It got a leaf hole. Okay. Can you step up on the leaf hole and get your foot up on on this one? I think I need a hold on. Get your there you go. Foot down. Girl. You did don't leaf forward. I don't trust you like that. I got up here. You got up there. But what about this? Uh-uh, girl. We ain't, we, ain't, we ain't doing that. We ain't doing that. Hold on, Elliot. Down the slide. This way. This way? Down the slide. Hold up. Wait. Woo! That was a feat for me. We ain't doing that again, y'all. We ain't doing that again. Brazil. Why you mom? Get out her video. Please? Yeah. Hey, she walked. Poor lady trying to videotape her grandson. And she walking straight into the video. Running, happy. You don't get out that little boy video. It's time to go. Like. You know, y'all, I don't think I ever realized, like, shoot. If you don't be going to the park practicing these agility moves, you just don't learn them. Ain't that what I've watched, what I've learned, like, just watching her inside the park? It's like, because after the first time, she kind of gets it. But it's like, Agility is a skill that you have to learn. It's reasons why they got these things at the park. My battery about to die, y'all. Let me see you climb up the small one again, up here. This one. This is what I'm talking about. Y'all know how she struggled the last time to climb up. Like this one's a little smaller, but it's like, she got it, you know? No help. Easier to uh, do. To, she climbed up this little mountain right here to get onto the thing. All right, y'all, we are back. Dang. <laughs> Do you need to say something? <laughs> Good Lord. <laughs> we're back from the park. Um, the camera died on us when we were at the park, uh, pretty much. So we gotta wait till we got home, charge the battery and put it back in. But we are back, we're back home, rested. We just ate dinner. We had El Pollo Loco because I did not feel like cooking today. I'm tired. I'm tired. And so, um, I don't even know where we left off. Hey, TV, can you be quiet? Like, extra loud. Up there arguing. Okay, so, I think where we left off at the park, I was saying, I was talking about agility and the skills kids need to actually build that stuff up. Cause she doesn't go to the park often so the fact that she was able to practice you know even swing on the swing and um using body mechanics which is crazy I, I just the thought came to my mind at that point and i just said it so that's where we ended i think the main points of this video was to talk about health and wellness all right see you later, see you later. Bye. bye talking about like health and wellness um making sure we're taking care of ourselves uh, I don't know where I rambled off with that, but I am going to do better. Um, not so much to, I won't say to lose weight because I love my weight, but more to get healthier internally. That's the goal. 
um, when we're talking about hair and stuff and that being part of the journey is healthy hair, healthy life, healthy me, healthy me. Okay. So Brazil is here. We're going to do a little outro. What else do we got going on? If you guys, I know I don't film a lot with Brazil. Brazil is like a constant, uh, constant. So it's hard to get it on video. Um, one, she'd be getting in trouble. Two, uh, she got to actually have something to, to be doing. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to get on we're going to get on TikTok. And I think TikTok is an easier way for me to capture little video clips with Brazil where I know you guys will appreciate her sense of humor. So I'm going to get on TikTok. Let's do House of Brittany on TikTok. I'm going to make it and then we're going to just start uploading our own little content over there. You guys go over to TikTok, follow us. Follow me on Instagram, House of Brittany. It's the same, House of Brittany, House of Brittany on both. So give us a follow. Let us know y'all here for it. And we're going to start posting. Brazil, kind of say something to the people so we can get up out of here. Get in the camera. Peace. Ugh. Okay, well, come inside. Okay. I'm going to just point the camera at you. What do you think you hiding for? How did you enjoy the park today? Good. My eyes blind right here. Come over here because the light's shining in the back of you. What's your favorite thing to do at the park today? Going on the swings. The swings? <laughs> that was the hardest part for you. You didn't appreciate that climb you did? No. My hands were hurting. Oh, you finna have some calluses. Y'all remember calluses all around the palms of your hands? Of course, I remember y'all probably in the gym, unlike me, getting, you know, still got calluses, but. That used to be the worst part to me. Yo, not ripping. Like, not you scraping yours in my face. Golly. Ugh. <laughs> okay, y'all. We out of here. You guys have a good night. We're going to have a good night. And we'll see y'all in the next video. Peace. Peace.